Oh second no. One is about to go. Oh, I just saw There's that. The second one. It's collapsing. The lights are beginning to dim. There goes the lights. The ship's going to break in half. On. There it is. It's breaking in two. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back in Stormworks. And today, we are going to be checking out a one-to-one -one Stormworks Titanic that is multiplayer friendly. We're also joined by JL Killen and Historic Travels. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Jesse! Yeah, what's going on? Jesse! Hey, check it out, we're up here at the bow. I can I'm see the you! the king of the world! They were replicating Titanic. I can I'm see! The king of the... Well, that, folks, is uh, an OSHA violation. All right, so here we are on the bridge of this one-to-one -one scale Titanic in Stormworks. Now, we have featured a beta, or, well, alpha, really, build of this ship in another video. I'll have a link in the top right corner to that. But yeah, we're joined by Jay Killen, the builder of this ship, and Historic Travels, who's going to be joining us while we sail aboard the RMS Titanic and simulate the iceberg collision as well as the sinking. So, Jay Killen, how did you build this ship? Why does it run so well? And where can people find it? Yeah, well, I basically utilized many ways of optimization to try and get this thing to run as just fast as possible and make it more likely that more people can run this thing on what computers they're using. And uh, you can actually find it today in the, the Steam Workshop page for Stormworks. So yeah, it's here, it's uh, ready to download. A link will be in the description. So yeah, Historic Travels, what do you think of this build so far? Honestly, I am 100% blown away. Like, this, like, just the Titanic historian in me is absolutely, like, freaking out. Like, this, seriously, man, the amount of time and effort you put into this couldn't have been easy. So, like, here, like, all these windows on the officer's quarters, like, did you line these up based on, like, the real ship and everything like that? Yeah, and... a lot of it's based on the actual beam spacing of the ship. Oh, you even have the expansion joint. I just noticed that. You've got the expansion yeah. joint here. Like, dude, this seriously, well done. So yeah, this is really awesome. It also has interior, but we'll be getting to that very shortly. So, Jay Killen, does this ship sail, and how can we sail it? Uh, yeah, it actually does sail. You can you come up to the bridge. There is a, a throttle lever on what, uh, what would it be? The, uh, yeah, the starboard engine, uh, telegraph. It would basically what i've actually done is i've incorporated that it's technically relying on what position it would be like zero to 0 0.25 is like dead slow and then each increment it in increments from dead slow to slow to half then to full and that you can actually have it where the central propeller only rotates when the ship is at half speed or higher so when the ship is at dead slow or slow, the central propeller would actually be disengaged. So basically the way you tried to implement it is like the telegraph, like all the different yeah. symbols that were on the telegraph. Like, very well done, super cool. Yeah, so this is really awesome. I mean, having the propellers actually operate correctly is something you didn't have to do. They're under the waterline, and most people are just gonna stop the ship and sink it. So yeah, having that implemented is amazing. So, um, Sam, why don't you go ahead and uh, let's activate the ship. I'll let you do the honors here. And uh, right here, yeah, just yeah. throttle up on the the top of it. All right, gotcha. Yep, just what I need throttle to throttle it all. Uh, oh, yeah. You can set it to full. Yep. There all you right, go. so we should be on the move. Let's see. Yeah, I think we are. I'm gonna go to the helm temporarily. So yeah, the ship is actually moving right now, and we're gonna have Jay Killen actually basically replicate the iceberg collision like it was in real life. And Sam, what do you think we're going to do when this collision occurs? Whoa, are you in the iceberg? I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, I see somebody on the iceberg. I think it's you. <laughs> yeah, you can see me from this far away. Yes, I can. Um, I'm actually going to use my binoculars. There he is. Hi. Wow. Okay, so Jay Killen, um, when are we actually going to turn the ship? The iceberg's getting a little bit close. Uh... Here in a little bit. Uh oh. I'm start initiating the turn about now. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go down to the well deck because I think that would be a cool view. All right, Sam. So you're actually getting a view on the iceberg right now. Yeah. Okay. This is like insanely cool. Like, so if you were standing on the iceberg, this is exactly how I picture it would look like from the iceberg's perspective. Oh my That's gosh. Titanic. Okay. This is like insanely cool. Oh, wow. wow. There There's the collision, and it's just going right by there. It's actually colliding into 
the deck a little bit there, which is realistic because Ice would be crashing down onto the deck there, and there he goes. So there oh, goes Sam. Ice falling apart. You got ice breaking yep. off of this. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. Wow. You know, we see it so many times in different simulations, but to see it in like a fluid simulation, that's awesome. Want me to stop the ship? Uh, you can, though I, I activated the, the sinking switch, so the ship actually automatically will be set to zero when I activate the sinking, so it'll just slowly oh, come wow. to a stop. That's really cool. So we're actually just drifting right now in the ocean yep. as we're going down. That is really cool. So why don't we go inspect the damage? Well, try to. We're just going to go down to E-Deck and see if we can see anything from there. So do both of the wheels uh, on the bridge and in the everything, does all that work? Do both uh... Work? Not as of now. It's only the, the wheelhouse helm that works right now. I'm not sure how to maybe, like, merge them, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm now on E-Deck. Actually, I'll go down to F-Deck, see if I see anything down here. And luckily, there is nothing down here. But I'm starting to notice we are starting to list over to starboard. So, Sam, why did the ship actually list over to starboard after the collision? The ship had its initial um, three-degree list. Was it three-degree? Two or three-degree list yeah, of port as a result of... Yeah, as a result of them moving the 300 tons of coal from the starboard side coal bunker into the port side of Boiler Room 6, I believe, the back of Boiler Room 6. Yeah, I think it was 6 and, and 5. Yeah. Then, after it hit the berg on the starboard side, the water initially came in on the starboard side, and that pulled the ship over to starboard. And then, as the sinking progressed, the water could more easily flow on the port side, which is what caused the ship to roll over to port. Plus, you had the D-deck gangway door as well. That was also a factor. Yeah, so now the ship is beginning to list over to the starboard side, and, I mean, right now some passengers would probably be coming out and questioning why did the ship stop. I mean, most of them didn't even know the collision occurred. I believe it was Lawrence Beasley. He was in his room reading, and he had a porthole window open, and some ice flew in through the window and hitting. Wow. Hit something in his room, yeah. So that is really cool. I think his cabin think was, was on sea deck. I'm not sure. I think it was yeah. Up, so, we've got water. Really? Where? We've got water. I am on, let me see, what, what deck am I on? Yeah, I think I'm you're on, on E-Deck. E -deck. I'm on yep. E-Deck. Yeah. Alright, I'm coming down right now, so uh, how bad is it? Uh, I don't see any flooding like on the floors yet, but there's one door where water is just spraying in, so not much yet. Okay, so there must be water forward on E-Deck, so I might check the E-Deck open oh, space. Oh, Scotland Road! Scotland Road's going. Yep. Really? That fast? So... That is really cool. Holy cow! The EDAC open space, or well, the uh, EDAC forward open space for the uh, third class, is uh, not looking so good. So, uh, Sam, I would really recommend getting out of there. Yes, good idea. And also, this water is freezing cold. Yes. Got any, got any whiskey? Oh, yep, yeah, you yeah. see the water pouring down. And he, down here is where that one steward um, actually observed the water cascading down the steps. He walked up. And he actually saw that the water had crept over from this hallway over here and was making its way down the steps to the yep, area on right, F-Deck for the right. Turkish pass. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to go lower a lifeboat. So, um, bye, guys. That is... Like, just watching the water flow like that down there, that, like, absolutely blew my mind. Like, that was so cool. I can actually see water physics. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the great things about Stormworks, and I just fell down back onto, well, between E and F deck. So, um, wow. Yeah, the ship is, uh, really flooding fast. How long does it take to sink, Jay Killen? Uh, about 20 minutes or so. Oh, wow. Somewhere around there. So, uh... It might depend on performance, but, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, don't have long. I mean, if E deck's flooding, then we should be at least a little bit worried. All right, I am lowering a lifeboat on the port side, so if anyone wants to get off... Yeah, I think um... you're on the deck above me. Oh, yes! There you I are. I see it lowering right next to me. I'm I could go... jump on it if I wanted. Yeah, I'm going to go I'm lower the one on that. the uh, starboard side. There we go. There we go. Good job. Awesome. The boat is lowering. Were, uh... Let's go down now, to the bow. Does your, um, does your model... Uh, oh, it looks like it's already leaning back to port. Yep. Does it do that? Dude. Does it... Bravo, bravo. I don't know if you can hear me clapping, but bravo. Yeah, I can hear this. <laughs> this is awesome. What blows my mind the most is how big this model is and how well it's running. Because 
What was that ship that me and you did a video on? The Atlantic, or, yeah, the Atlantic style ship that we did a video on a while back. Yeah, I can't quite remember the name, but I know what you're talking about. Anyway, but like how small that ship was, and it ran good. Don't get me wrong, but it was still a little slow. And then you have this that's, you know, 50 times that size, and it's running even better. So like that's very impressive. Yeah, I'm really surprised. You know, when I first checked this out, I was like, there is no way. I mean, but. Looking at it now, it's got lights, it's got logic, but it uses optimization tools, and, I mean, it runs super well, so, yeah, once again, congratulations, Jake Killen, this is really stunning. And, um, by the way, the well deck is, like, really low to the water right now, so I would be really concerned. Uh-oh, uh, the reception room is starting to flood. Ooh. Uh-oh. That's not good. And a crewman just got finished yelling at me for breaking down a door. A crewman, shut up. Yes, there it is, <laughs> right from the movie. So I'm going to go you know, in. That's, a real, that, that's based on a real account, you know? Yes, it is. Um, I'm yeah, not the, quite the sure who player. it's from. The yeah. The tennis player. Yeah, I forgot his name, but yeah, the tennis player. He broke down a door to save a, um, a passenger who was locked in her stateroom, and a crewman yelled at him and said he had to pay for it and stuff, and yeah. Wow, so um, I'm not sure. Do you have the reception room door open? Oh, you don't? Not quite yet, so yeah. Yeah. Still, um, a little bit work in progress, but I mean, this is the day prior to the release, that's when we're recording this, and it's released today, so, um, I'm pretty sure that will open when you have your model. So, uh, yeah. Yep. Um, I think it would be wise to leave this area. I am, uh, I'm in Scotland Road right now. Really? The water, yeah, the water has stretched pretty far back. Now, does this watertight door work? There's, like, a watertight Uh, door. no. I mean, originally, I think I remember, um, they initially did close those horizontal watertight doors, but then I guess, I think they reopened them because they knew the ship was going to sink, and so I think it's, uh, it would be easier for the passengers to get through. I, I think I remember, I did read something that they reopened those horizontal doors. I didn't know that detail. Like, I know that there was a theory out there that they left the watertight doors open, and it might have been possible because there were engineers that ran hoses from because you know the yeah. ship didn't have pumps in the flooding zones up at the front there was one in boiler room six i think but yeah they had to reopen the doors to run hoses and i don't know if they ever shut those again the thing with those watertight doors the vertical ones even if they didn't shut them back they would automatically shut float when plates, it detected float water yeah, yeah the, the little float, float things that would float yeah, up yeah, and yeah, it would yeah, trigger yeah. the the mechanism yeah, yeah, I've talked about that before. My question, though, is would the hoses have messed that up? Probably not. I think those doors would have went right through the hoses if they were in the doorway. Oh, yeah, not to be the bearer of bad news, but the, the well deck is a wash. Yes, I'm actually in the Marconi room sending out SOS signals right now. Well, That's SOS and CQD. Yeah, I'm actually going to leave the Marconi room because I'm a little worried that the water may be getting a little bit close. Let's see. Where's the water? Uh, well about to reach Oh, the folks, my! So. Um, wow, it is, oh, wait, is water actually pouring into the cargo hatch? Yeah. Uh-oh, um, that's not yeah, good. Yeah, so it might start speeding up a little bit. Yeah, the forecastle deck is still a little bit above water, and look at that! There's a lifeboat slowly rowing out into the ocean. CQD, CQD, SOS, SOS, SOS. Yeah. Well, I guess speaking of that... Though I'm not sure if they, I think they would have been doing this at this point, is the, the Morse lamps. Ooh. Uh, yeah, the, the oh, look at that. That is so cool. Is that you, Jake Killen? Yep. All right. On. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fly out a bit, and I'm going to yep. see what that, okay, uh, do it, do it again. Do it again, flash the Morse lamp. Like, do it in SOS. All right, well, I just flipped the collapsible off. Yeah, so you're going to love this footage. Oh, <laughs> I am really excited to check it out. I mean, you guys are checking it out right now, but obviously we're recording it, so I can only see my view, and... My view is very interesting. I'm actually standing on the vent in front of the forward funnel, and I see the forecastle deck is halfway flooded. Actually, past halfway flooded. Oh, yeah, the B deck area, the B deck forward area is starting to flood. I'm going to start pushing okay. the collapsibles off. Do not collapsible B off a group of the officer's quarters. That didn't happen yet. No, I need to get it off now because I want to live. Jesse, is that you? Was that you that not collapsible B down? Maybe, I possibly. We were, I, I thought we were going for historical accuracy. Well, I'm I'm struggling. I don't know when I'll have time to do it again. Help, J. Kellen, help. I need help. I don't even know if I can. Please, I need uh, help I with this boat. I try grab the handles. Okay, I'm gonna try to lift it. I need help desperately with this because it's kind of sliding forward a little bit. What are you trying to do? We're trying to get the uh, other collapsible off, and oh. uh, J. Kellen is flying. 
Oh my gosh. What I'm the heck? The you head. knocked it uh, into uh, the deck. Uh, easy, easy. Lower it. Just down gently, gently, just slowly, Jesse. Jesse. I, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to uh, get the boat. It's kind of wedged between. Well, it's actually wedged into the rail here, so I'm trying to push it clear of the rail so we can push it out. We're almost oh, there. Yeah, it's that's flooding. That's, that's, that's okay. Water's almost here. There we go. The ah! Oh boy, he's underneath the boat. Okay, this is uh, this is something we need to clear up right now. Ah! What's funny is this actually happened in the uh, multiplayer video we did, the other one. Yeah. All right, there we go. You're lifting Jesse, it up. I'm out. I'm out. And just All like right, that, perfect. Jesse killed historic travels. There will be no yep. more historic. Yep. Oh my gosh, this is just straight <laughs> out of the movie right now. This is like, water is on the boat deck. It is in oh, the yeah, uh, in the bridge cab there. Oh wow, it's already up at the bridge. Holy cow. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. I would recommend possibly moving aft because um. The ship does sink pretty fast at the end, like it really did. So, um, you know what? I might take this collapsible. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to try to push this out. I also might want to see the grand staircase. So, uh, Jay Killen, do you mind uh, maybe helping the, the uh, collapsible temporarily while I go check out the grand staircase? I'd like to see it flush. Sure. Thank you. I mean, you might notice the, the light's starting to change. Yeah, they're dimming. Yep. That is... Oh boy. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Guggenheim. Please view Mr. Guggenheim. We are dressed in our best and are prepared to go down as gentlemen. Oh boy, we the water like is brandy. rapidly coming oh, yeah. Here in. in a second, you're going to see the ship uh, ease its port list. It's going to roll back over to oh, an really? even keel here in a oh, second. wow. I actually am going to go yeah, into the ADAC promenade. That wow. is so eerie. Wow. Really amazing job oh, here. Yeah. And the water just came rushing up. All right, the uh, Grand Staircase is rapidly flooding. Goodbye, Historic Travels. I will see you in the next life. Let's go. Oh yeah, she's really okay. starting to plunge now. I'm trying First to get out. I'm get trying out. to get out. I just heard an yeah, explosion. Oh. All right, there I'm out. Oh no! Oh. There Help. it is. Help. Run! It barely, missed, it barely missed the lifeboat. Oh my gosh, it's going down there so the fast. There was the funnel. Oh second no! About to go. Oh, I just saw There's that. The one. It's collapsing. The lights are beginning to dim. There's the lights. The ship's the gonna break in half. On. There it is. It's breaking in two. There's the break. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Wow, there it is. Oh, there goes the second or the fourth funnel there. Oh, there it is. The tower. There goes the tower. There's the tower section. All right, I'm running after I'm running right now. I'm running for the stern. I'm running for the stern. Oh, boy. I'm on the stern. That is n okay. You just like flew it a million miles an hour straight <laughs> towards the stern. <laughs> Wow. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do any. Actually, I might do that as well. I'm gonna be legit. I'm gonna try and get there. Yeah. Well, you're gonna die, so uh, good luck. I'm almost there. Well, I think we're all gonna die. We're on the stern right now. All right, I'm gonna uh, see. Actually, oh gosh. The whole twisting motion of the yep. stern. Yep. It actually rotates around as it goes vertical. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna see if I can get oh. right over here. Oh no, I'm gonna fall. It's been nice knowing you guys. Oh gosh. Bye, Jesse. Oh, don't oh, say it quite yet. Slide. Just went out. Yep. Great timing on that too, because it would have been the dynamo on D. Yep, the emergency yep. dynamos. This yep, is yep. so cool. This is so cool, and it's not even lagging as bad as I thought it would. Like the bows already hit the bottom. All right, I got to be very careful where I am right now. Oh, I might fall. How long did this take you to code? Uh, I, it was only a few days, actually, in terms of, like, just testing and making the sinking, like, work properly and just experimenting. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't really long. It was just more over the building that's taken quite a bit. Oh, there we go. The water's here. Yep, I just went under. And there goes the fantail. Wow. So that is the end for the Titanic. And I do want to point out, if we look in the distance, what do we see? The iceberg. It stands poignant there. I mean, in real life, yep. we wouldn't really be able to see the iceberg because it would be super dark. But, uh, yeah, there it is. So, uh, yeah, I think we all died. Is I don't that... know about you, but I, I'm in a lifeboat. I am perfectly fine. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm good. I don't know. Mmm, okay. Oh, I actually see you <laughs> over there. There you are. Well, then, the download will be in the description. And if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.